In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of SensorMonkey, what it is, how it works, and how you can sign up for it. SensorMonkey is a free online service for streaming high throughput, low latency sensor data live over the internet in real time. The service provides a web-based interface for managing local and remote sensor devices, along with a lower level JavaScript client that can be used to connect to the service directly from within a web browser. You can view several screenshots of the web-based interface in action on the SensorMonkey homepage. Information on the JavaScript client API can be found in our support section. If we scroll down the page, we can see examples of different types of sensors that can easily be connected to SensorMonkey. The service is sensor agnostic and allows any compatible device to connect to the same interface. For example, Arduino microcontrollers, Shimmer wearable health sensors, XB wireless transceivers, Easy 430 Kronos development tools, and LabJack measurement and automation devices can all be connected. Output from the sensors can be viewed locally or published live over the internet and used to drive real-time web applications or browser-based widgets viewable on remote devices ranging from desktop PCs to tablets and smartphones. To sign up for the service, you just have to log into Facebook and grant permission for SensorMonkey to access your account. Once logged in, You can access your control panel through the sensors link at the top of the page. The basic interface is very simple. There are two tabs accessible from the navigation pane to the left. One for local sensors and one for remote sensors. The Local Sensors tab allows you to connect to sensor devices attached directly to your computer or available over a network. The basic workflow is identical. First, you give your sensor a name and add an entry for it. From here, you connect to the sensor by entering its IP address and port number. You also need to specify a format description file that tells SensorMonkey how to parse and interpret the data being read from your sensor. For sensors that don't provide a network interface, for example, an Arduino connected over USB, we provide bridging software called Bloom that enables SensorMonkey to connect to the device. Simply put, you download Bloom from our website, install it, then configure it to map your sensor to a network interface. The next video tutorial in this series describes how Bloom works and shows an example of configuring an Arduino to control a simple flash game running in a web browser. Finally, once connected, you can control the sensor by sending commands to it and you can view or stream its output live over the internet in real time. The Remote Sensors tab allows you to subscribe to data being streamed by your sensors using the SensorMonkey service. 
every sensor that you publish online is represented by a single public or private stream containing one or more data fields that correspond to variables being measured by the sensor. In this particular case, I have an Arduino connected to a machine in my lab that is being streamed live over SensorMonkey. As you can see, it contains a single field called floating that represents a floating input being sampled on one of the Arduino's analog to digital pins. By selecting the stream and clicking subscribe, I can receive real-time updates published by the sensor and view its output over time. I can also send remote commands back to the sensor to control its operation. In this case, the Arduino is acting as a passive sensor, so it does not accept any commands. It merely samples and sends data at regular intervals. As an example of using the lower level JavaScript client, I can embed a streaming widget into a web page and allow anybody, even those without a SensorMonkey account, to view the output of my Arduino in real time. This view is separate from the web-based control panel and does not require logging into SensorMonkey through Facebook. That concludes this brief introduction to SensorMonkey. The video has been kept intentionally light on technical information, so please be sure to watch the other video tutorials in this series to see much more detailed examples of connecting real-world sensors to SensorMonkey, including Arduinos, Shimmers, XBs and more. Thank you for watching.